Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 16 step by step CRUD tutorial series. In the last episode, we learned how to add a template driven form and we are performing the add functionality. If you remember, we ran into an issue and we were unable to show error messages for some of the things and the date didn't work. See, this didn't work and the date we commented off. However, I did realize after that what's the mistake so I want to show it to you before I fix it right so this is a continuation of the previous episode where we left the add functionality there are two form fields that we need to fix plus some designing that is what we are going to do in today's episode if you have missed out the previous episode make sure that you go through that also like I said today we are continuing to build the template driven form will fix the errors so let's get started so the first issue that I found for this particular field that why it didn't work you will not believe that's one of the most common things that I make mistake is with respect to the date picker it was capital P okay it was capital P so if I make it small p like date picker then it works just fine see here so that was one of the mistakes as to why it didn't work out similarly uh, I am going to add a error for the mat error and we'll say select created date alright so these are some of the basic typos that um, get creeped in some or the other way but that's okay like I said I don't do editing business um, I do live coding and I also want to show you the kind of errors we run into so we have the created date check it out here dot touched and we will write controls and in it will not have required field instead this will be what we call dot invalid okay if the field is invalid then don't sh show the error message I touched it I step out it says select created date right so that's the error and that is what was failing on this one so we we rectified that one there was one more issue which was this description that it was not showing and again small typo mistake there if you notice our mat error was empty we did not put a message that's why it was not showing description is required field so once you put that and step out that also works now okay so same way I'm going to copy it one more time uh, for the updated field updated date and then that should complete the form you can copy this as it is and instead of created date now it will be updated date so wherever you have date picker make it updated and this will be updated date which is what is coming from the model so updated date here also updated date also updated date alright uh, select updated date right so we have now two dates if I touch and step out it says select update select created right so that's all different um, data that we can put we have a text box we have a text area we have a normal text box here we have a checkbox we have a drop down we have a date picker these are all the common things that you would use in building a form I'm going to style this little bit to make it better right now so let's go ahead and do that styling so I have the mat form field I'm going to give a class and say half width so that way I want to make the styling better so class half width okay so now it's coming half width because it's 40 percent that I've written in my style so you can see here width I'm giving 40 percent right and full width is also 40 percent so now um, let's check the others and align them correctly according to this so description I have it here I'm going to give it full width so now this goes up to 40 percent like this but um, again if you want you can make it better design 
and this I'm going to give again full width so this looks like this interest rate and annual rate I can club them together under one group so I'm going to do that right now I'll copy that form mat form element and along with the interest rate I'm going to add that and give them class half width so this is just I'm styling just simple CSS giving them percentages so that they come in the same line so you can see here now the form looks much better uh, you can add description here you can select the max credit um, and I can move these two dates also under the same uh, group form group so I can remove this here and remove this here and give them class half width class equal to half width so now they both are in the same line these two are in the same line I can again bring this max credit and selected also um, so let's give this also class equal to full width so you can see here right much better looking form much clean now you can see all the different uh, variations are also there validations are in place and the form is working as expected all right so once we have the form ready if you notice we were just doing a console log with the new data instead now let's bring in our service credit card service and you can use inject if you want but I like keeping things in a constructor uh, because we will import more or less um, if you have more than one uh, services I think it makes sense that you should keep them in a constructor so here while saving we are going to do dot create credit card and you'll pass the new credit card dot subscribe and you'll get data okay you can do and I mean you can do whatever operations mat snack bar etc I'll say credit card added you give an alert and then we can navigate it back so here I'll say private uh, router router and I'm going to use this router to navigate it back say this dot router dot navigate back to to credit cards right okay so once it has added the credit card it would do that I can also handle the exception and I'll say if it has failed you do something like um, recomposition etc uh, platinum card let's test it if it works and bank name is arc bank uh, this is a is a test credit card max length is 10,000 interest rate 15 and say this is saying at least three characters so we should not have that three character length but for now I'm just putting three if I have to pay so much rent and annual fee you'll go mad right or let me know if you can afford to pay you can sponsor our tutorials all right so now I have uh, created the form looks good validations are in place now I hit add new and it says credit card added it navigates back to credit cards page let's see if so you can see here entry is already added for the platinum card that is arc bank right so that is the add functionality that we have done again like I said there can be improvements to this definitely uh, minimum length is one right and here also minimum length is one and you can click here get this beautiful form fill it activate and create a new credit card so I've tried to cover all the use cases of template driven form we have used input type equal to text we have used text area we have used drop down we have used date picker we have used the checkbox right so all these things are in place these are the things that you will require on a day uh, when you are working on a project you will need all of these and you can definitely style better also uh, again that's something that we can do with respect to time 
but I'm sure you are here to learn the functionality. <coughs> In the next episode, uh, we will learn how to edit this particular existing credit cards which we have in the dashboard using reactive forms okay whatever we have done here are all template driven forms next I'm going to build a reactive form and I'm going to do the same operations of editing for this credit card right thank you so much for always supporting for liking my videos for encouraging me keep doing that and continue learning with me thank you so much for joining see you the next episode